Thanks for watching Kain's demo video. In this part, I'm going to introduce the CMS server. With Kain's server, you can manage your digital signage network efficiently. You can create up to a maximum of two layer groups of players. Every time you synchronize the content or schedule the task, it will automatically apply to all the related players. You can program centrally your digital signage network. You can assign schedules to from the server to the SMP players. CMS20 and CMS40 can act as streaming servers by receiving video input from CanCoder, TV Tuner, or DVD player, and transmit streaming data to provide live content to the digital signage network. I'm going to take the CMS20 as an example. You have two ways to access the web administrator of the CMS server. One is with Kain's software device Seeker. After clicking Seek and finding the server, you can click Open Web to access the login portal. You can also type in the IP address if it has public IP to access across the internet. So we can enter the username and password and you can choose the language for the user interface. It is actually very similar to the SMP player. You have the date and time and also some quick access. You can also go to the manual. And if you have want to change the language, you can change it below. There is one unique feature which is emergency. In just two clicks, you can trigger the emergency message. I'm going to go through quickly the tabs. There are some one-time configurations, such as network for the internet and some system, and also to configure the accounts and groups of players. You can monitor the players linked to this server here, and if the CMS is acting as a streaming server, you can configure it in RTP. To configure the groups for the content synchronization and also to assign the schedules. At last, here we also have the log feature. So the first thing that you need to do also is to configure the network. Here you can enter the parameters. Also we can start the access by first configuring the accounts. Here you can create different accounts with different access rights, depending on the profile of the person. For example, an administrator can have uh, a full control of the system and a content designer can only upload content. Or maybe a network administrator who controls a group of players. The next step that we're going to do is to create groups. In a group, it can contain several players. And every time you apply configuration to a group, it applies to all the related players. And remember to associate it with a multimedia folder. After creating the accounts and the groups, the next thing that we're going to do is to link the players to the server. To do that, we access the SMP player. And in the tab of CMS, we can enable and then start entering the information of the server, such as IP address, username, password, and the group name. After that, we can click Test to check if the information is OK. You can also configure how often you want to communicate with the server. Then we can click Save. Also, you can configure how you want to synchronize content. It can be every few minutes or daily for example, at midnight. After linking successfully the players to the server, you can monitor the network in the tab of Player. Here you can see all the players that are linked to the CMS server. If you see this sign, it means that there is a problem with the connection. With this, it means it has connected to the server successfully. You can view some basic information and also access the web administrator. 